Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we got another stoner life story about the time I got so baked, I got thrown into the trunk of my friend's super sketchy van and ended up at some hotel parking lot with some Warzone gameplay. But first, be sure to show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. And also check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM and Mars Hydra for all your cannabis needs. And also, if you wanna be a part of our smoke slash live stream be sure to be following us on ig links will be in the description below so like this is by far the wildest story of my entire life and you notice how i didn't even say stoner life story like there has never been a moment in my entire life that surpasses this night going into the next day i mean it was like super nuts so i guess to start it off we were at like a whole bunch of people's houses like just gathering everybody up and like we would be smoking weed at this person's house and then this person's house and then this person's house so like you know we're all like completely going to be stoned and the idea is we're supposed to go to a hotel party now that's like super important to know about this story so we're smoking up at every person's house and i think we're on our way to the hotel i'm not quite sure exactly <laughs> But I remember getting this like really bad high and like the road, the, the lines on the road, like nothing was matching and, and like my, I got like super lightheaded and it was just like, you know, it was just like everywhere. Everybody had Down syndrome. Like everybody looked like they just, it's just not good. It was just totally bad, okay? A bad high is coming through, right? And I just wanted to get out of the car. Like, I'm in the car right now. Yo, I just wanted some fresh air. I needed to get out. So I'm like, pull over, pull over. You gotta pull over right now. My buddy just pulls over and I just like pass out in the grass. And then like my one buddy was just like, yo, the cops are coming. Yo, get him in the van, get him in the van. One guy carries one shoulder. Another guy carries me on his other shoulder. Like it was just, it was just like this. They throw me in the van. It was, it just looked like one of those sketchy scenes when you're like, getting kidnapped in a movie or something. Like it was one of those scenes. It was like classic, right? They're driving, they're driving. I end up passing out because the only thing I could do at this point is pass out. Like it, this is this is not leading to anywhere good. Like this bad high. I was like one step closer to just vomiting all over the van. It was really that bad. It was so intense, you know? So they had to have gotten to the hotel at this point, but I'm already passed out. They left me in the van. I guess it's good though, because if they woke me up and you know, I have a bad high, that's, that's not good, it's not good at all. And I think it would like ruin their party. So I think they're just trying to preserve their party. Like, screw this guy, man, just leave him in the van here. And that's exactly what happened. So the next day I wake up, it's like, it's gotta be like six, seven o'clock in the morning. It was super early. I step out of the van and it was, it was like that scene from The Walking Dead, like in the beginning where like Rick wakes up from the hospital and like everybody's dead or like there's just not human life miles away, you know? It was like that. So I get out of the van and I literally thought like the apocalypse happened or something. I swear to God, I'm not kidding you. I thought the apocalypse happened. There's like, we're in this, I'm in this parking lot, right? There's nobody even there. I see a few cars like down, down a ways, but like there's not like one human being. There's no one driving on roads or anything. It was just like, completely dead. Well, I have no idea what was happening, so I figured, well, let me go to a hotel because I do remember they said they're gonna go to a hotel party, and there was a hotel kind of like right there, you know what I mean? So so I walk in the hotel, and I just remember I gotta like piss so bad, oh my God. I actually peed in a laundry bin, you know, like I, I couldn't find a bathroom, but I saw like a laundry bin, and that was like the closest thing that resembles a toilet, so away we go. <laughs> I don't believe I just shared that with you guys. But then I find out, I don't even know how I found out, but like, I think I ran into one of them in the hallway. It was just like, it was fate. It was meant to be. I have no idea how I got from the hotel to like the room. That's the part that I don't remember. I remember peeing in a laundry bag, of course. Of course, I'm gonna remember that, but I have no idea how I got from point A to point B. I have no idea. Maybe one of my buddies was in the hallway or something. I, I have, I can't even, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what happened, but I ended up in the hotel room. Everybody's like drunk, high. People are like laying on the floor. Like, I think there was like 10 people in one hotel room. Oh my God, that was like such a wild night. Like if you guys, just imagine being me. Like even if you have to watch the video again, just imagine being me in this whole scenario. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you that stoner life story. It was really, honestly, the wildest time of my entire life. I know I did 
did this upload on the Kush Life channel, but it got taken down. I was looking through the Sonar Life stories. I'm like, wait a minute. I never talked about this, and this is like the wildest story that I've ever had to tell. I think I'm going to close out this video. This, I, I think this was super funny. What I want you guys to do in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me what's the wildest story you've ever had, like whether it's even like weed related or not. I think it'd be funny if it was weed related, but definitely let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know what you guys think of this Stoner Life story, and if you want more of these kind of videos. I really just love talking about these Stoner Life stories with you. They're just so much fun, you know what I mean? Definitely drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys on Friday, and as always, stay safe. Peace.